How are you doing this week, I'm Martin? I'm doing all right, Russell. Yourself? Great. Yeah. I'm I'm super good. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, anything interesting on your mind, or are we just diving straight into that phone box today? Yeah, we're we're I guess we're taking calls. Some people, a lot of folks have been amused uh, about the uh, release of Kent Hovind oh, from yes. federal prison in the last. I guess was it just this week that this happened? Uh, something, something like that. Yeah. And, and um, uh, yeah, not much to say about it. He's going to go. He's going to be off on the evangelical circuit, you know, talking about his ten years of Christian martyrdom. Yeah, for the hands of the to catch everyone up, just yeah. in case they don't obsessively follow creationism like we do. Kent mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, Hovind is this uh, shyster who um, mm -hmm. he he is a young Earth creationist. He has a PhD dissertation from uh, what is it, Liberty University? No, no, no. no that's a uh, that's almost a real university. It's American uh, Patriot. It's something university, like Patriot right? University. Yeah. It's it's a it's a PO box in a double wide is what it yeah, is. Yeah, it's somebody's it's, house. Yeah, and uh, he has this hilarious mail. bullshit uh, doctoral thesis, which you can read online if you want to. Uh, and he ran a dinosaur theme park for which he did not pay any taxes. And uh, the yeah. government tends to get a little testy about that, so he's been in jail for... Well, they just showed over the, a, a, a pattern of years that he was deliberately structuring his finances in such a way as to avoid, you know, usual I IRS reporting laws. Yes. And he was doing sneaky little things like uh, classifying everyone who worked at his theme park, like right down to the janitors, as ministers, <laughs> so as to, you know... Okay. Uh, you know, get that kind of religious exemption on the taxes there, and just all kinds of all kinds of rubbish. And and throughout it all, his dishonesty was just so deeply pathological that yes. you know, even when he's in jail and talking he, he on the wrote phone, these crazy ass blog posts from jail where he yeah, was where like, like talking having to God. dialogues with God. Yeah, yeah. And God is of and course terribly sympathetic. Yeah, God to his is like plight. you know they yeah. they totally you know this uh -huh. was a bum rap, Kethoven. <laughs> But of course, you know the jail <laughs> phone calls are recorded, and so it just he, even even when he. <laughs> so you're saying they they did not pick up the recording of God. I mean, I've yeah. seen that old George Burns movie. You just you mm -hmm. try to record God, and then you just get blank tape. I know That's it's how it works. Yeah, but it, but but it just his dishonesty is so deeply ingrained that even when he's right. talking to uh, you know his son or his wife and all of this, and he's just got this solidly constructed fantasy about he just didn't do anything wrong mm -hmm. and he's being persecuted and um, you know to, uh, yes it, it is the case that a he lot of these. He was actually going to get out of jail earlier but then got like <laughs> rebooked on contempt charges yeah, or it's something like, like he, that. He, he, could have, he could have gotten out you know for time served and yeah. he, but he ended up pissing them off for some reason. And yeah I can't remember the details, Back you right. go. <laughs> oh well but, right. uh, but he's out now and uh, so I'm sure we're going to have all kinds of whiny Oh, and he was photographed. This mm -hmm. is what's getting people, um, making people go, hmm. He was photographed leaving jail, and they're like, with picture inside the van, he's got an ice cream cone, he's looking all happy. And behind him is his wife and his son, Eric Hovind. And guess who was sitting in the van adjacent to him, next to him? Uh, but was it Jesus? No, I, well, maybe that's what that person thinks of <laughs> himself, but no, it's, it was Jim Bob Duggar. Ah, noted no TV less. star and uh, yes, pedophile defender yes. Jim Bob Duggar. Father, father of the yeah. So you have, um, you know, the criminality circle in evangelical, uh, in the evangelical community, just seems to be pretty tight, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But, you know, we believe in evolution, so we don't have morals. <laughs> right. So that's the narrative. Right. But uh, anyway. Okay. So apart uh, from being chuckling at that idiocy, there's. Yes, that's very entertaining. And feel free to call in with anything you want to say about that. But anyway. <laughs>